Oh, all right, got uh, crap. <laughs> so vlog again. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it, and so can you. And it's actually not morning. It is after school. I just haven't been able to pick the camera up yet. But Roger got home, and he's going to help me with a wheelchair unboxing, because my new wheelchair came in today. The wheelchair that I have is sitting right over there, where the cat just walked in front of it. You saw her, but that one right there, and it is just falling apart had it for four and a half years and there's just no fixing the parts that are broken on it now so we knew we needed a new one ideally uh, the best one for me would have been to be custom fit and all of that but one there's not anybody in town that does that two we don't really have the money to do that so thankfully we were able to get a little bit of family help and get a new wheelchair that's supposed to be a little more comfortable and I am planning on purchasing at least a seat cushion for it and then a couple other accessories like an extra bag to carry stuff in to hang on the side or whatever but um yeah this is the that's cool because you get a free Carmen carry pouch oh sweet with this product because you purchased it online cool okay so I got a free carrying pouch anyway um it is a Carmen chair it is the I can't tell you right now I don't remember the model number but we'll, we'll do the unboxing and then we'll we'll talk about it a little bit so we're gonna find the best camera angle, camera angle for the unboxing and then we'll see what's up. Okay, so we are starting the unboxing. I know we're zoomed out right now, but that's because we want you to see the whole chair and then we'll show you some up close in a minute. So, here we go. I'm gonna let Roger handle the knife. It's weird, because you're usually the knife person. I love knives. <laughs> Gotta make sure I fill out the warranty. This is the Carmen LT980 wheelchair. And uh, I'm not gonna go over all the specifications and stuff for it right now. I know this is an unboxing, but basically we're just gonna kinda show you how it works. I've seen some videos that Roger hasn't, so um, I'm gonna be kinda showing him as we're showing you all. So let's see what else is in this box first. So here's the manual. If you wanna look through that and be familiar with the design, you can. Here are here are the legs or the feet. Or the legs and feet. Like rests rather. I'm probably the best for it this part on the vlog, so I don't really care what it's Okay, so you do the handles first, so push them up first into upright position. And then unbolt your press down on both sides and seat. You can keep hands on top to prevent injury injury. So kinda like the other one. These do snap into place. Yeah. And it goes out like, and it's supposed to go out like the other one. There you go. Oh yeah, it's pretty sturdy. Yeah. Oh! You just have to be strong. Superman! He's strong! All right, so let's size these feet for us for you. I like uh, this feature right here. It's got a strap on that, so that way your heel can slide off the back. Yep. You actually rest a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm sitting in the wheelchair, and we're measuring the length that we need the foot rest. So that needs to be a little lower, but not too much. Or else it'll scrape around. Probably, Is that as low as it goes? Probably. Okay, well, if that's as low as it goes, then... Otherwise, we're starting to show... The, the well, I am going to be getting a cushion, so that'll help. Yeah. Yeah, so do it. Just do it as low as it goes safely. Okay. okay, so we're gonna put these wheels down as low as they go. Or wheels, my gosh! Now we're gonna put the footrests on as low as they can go, without like having danger of falling off. And um, the cushion that I'm gonna get to put in the seat because it is. I mean, it's 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 more comfortable than like the hard, fake leather that you use for big hospital wheelchairs. Like it's much more comfortable than that. It's even got more padding and is more comfortable than my other wheelchair. But it still is just a basic black nylon uh, pad there. As you can see it's not very thick. So I'm going to get a foam or a gel cushion to put on it um, because I need that. 
But the back, though, I don't think I'm going to have to go over the back. This actually got more, way more cushion than my other one does. Um, and there is a pocket on the back as well. I'll show you that while he's still working on the legs there. So we've got a pocket right here that you can hold. Well, oh, let's be real. This is probably going to be mostly used to hold cold packs. Hmm. Hard at work. And this, this chair came with the option of making the metal part here um, silver, black, or burgundy. And I just like the look of the silver. Some people may think that it looks more medical or whatever, but I actually thought the silver looked sleeker than like the all black, even though that was, you know, less conspicuous. But um, like the silver? Yeah. I thought you might. Yeah, so of the three, I'm glad I picked this one. It's comfy. There we go. Yeah, once I have a cushion, if I'm sitting up a little bit, those will be perfect. Yep. You don't want them too much lower anyway, or else they'll scrape the ground. Hopefully. Right. So, I'm good. We got them set up. You can see it's got the angle slash heel straps on it here. To keep, well, you can't really tell because you're blending with my socks, but it's got the straps that Roger was talking about to keep my foot from sliding let, backwards. Let's let me hold that. Yeah, let's let Rod show some. Yep. So, I like uh, things that I noticed here at the back. Mm -hmm. It has a cushion along the top for your upper back. Also, I noticed these wheels, they're hard rubber and they, they're they treaded, so that's pretty nice too. And the hand grips are very, very grippy. And they're very inflatable. Like, watch watch the level of inflation in the tires as the brake goes. Watch how much it has to, to press into. I mean, they're solid. Not so much inflation because they are solid. Well, I, mean, I just meant they. Yeah. It's working better. They expand back. They're, they're solid brakes. Exactly. Yeah. There, yeah, that's supposed okay. to work. Expand better. Yeah, so let me come over here. I'm going to say the armrests, um, I got desk length armrests on purpose. That way it would be easier to like slide it up to a table if I wanted it or something. Hmm. Um, instead of like, well, I guess these aren't completely desk length. They look kind of low, so that's good too. You yeah. can slide into, into tables pretty easy, it looks like. Yep. Um, one really cool thing about this chair, and you can see the footrest slide right up like that, and then they can swing out and come right off, as you saw us putting them on. But the way, uh-oh, my leash. Hold on. I like the way this wheelchair, oh, by the way, it also comes with a safety belt if you want to wear it around the front. You know, if you're going down the hill, you're worried about that tipping out or anything. It's got that on there. And the uh, only thing is it doesn't have wheelie thing. Those can be added and purchased separately. But that was considered customized, so I didn't do it at the beginning just in case because right. it wouldn't return. But what I was going to show you is how it closes. It actually closes pretty easily. You clip right here. Well, I say pretty easily. I've watched videos that show it easily, but me doing it is not obvious. It looks like there's some there's some grips there. Oh, uh, push them the right way. Or yeah, you way. pull, don't push. There okay. you go. Pull, don't push. And then you do this and this and this. And I'm gonna tell you. There it is. And look how look. I cannot pick up much, and I just picked that up. Now I couldn't hold it for any longer than that. I gotta sit down because that took. My heart's racing. If Becca can pick it up, then uh, any caregiver uh, can also pick it up too. That uh, that has to assist in these kind of things. Yeah, roll that one. Roll that one over here. I just want to feel the difference. Okay. Oh. And these legs are off. It's going to be so much more compact. So size comparison here. Yeah, with the feet on. Yeah, we we felt we felt like before that uh, her old wheelchair, which is still a, a good wheelchair, the the drive blue streak, we felt it was pretty compact. Um, but uh, this one, you can see with the handles down, pretty pretty compact, easy to fit into a car. And um, you can see here what I was talking about: the armrests are a little bit lower, probably easier to slide underneath the table. Now they are harder, they don't have as much of a cushion on them, but to be honest guys, I rarely sit with my arms up on the armrest in my wheelchair anyway, they're usually in my lap, yeah. so. The wheels are a little smaller. So everything about this just screams compact and uh, travel ready. And the grip, I know you talked about it a little bit, but the way the way the grip is made there is made to be ergonomic for your hands to grab on it um, to be an easier grip. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the, pretty cool the too. The front wheels are also quite small, and the crackling you're hearing is that's just the plastic that's still on the on the front wheels, so yeah. that'll go away. They're also hard rubber. They're yep. small, so um, the uh, the rotation yeah. will be pretty easy. Let's I'm gonna take it for a spin okay. in the house. All right, oh, what I was going to show on camera, though, is now that my heart has calmed down a little bit, you said, oops, oh, keep that one here. Here's the attempt. Here's the new one. Here's Becca lifting the new wheelchair quickly. Up, down. 
Of course, I can't do it much. But I just want to show you the attempt at this one. Yeah, I can't do it. Is that much heavier? Yeah, to me it is. To me it is, and, and the configuration. Oh, is. yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's way oh, light. The, yeah, yeah, the Carmen is, is really light. Yeah, so it's the Carmen LT980. Ooh, I just noticed something, too, about the wheels. The They've got... These metal spokes that make them look like bicycle tires. I just think it's a neat look. It is. It is a really neat look. Okay, so let's put this one over there. Okay. And then we will get this one back ready to go. So up and uh, out. Mom should not have trouble with this one. I'm sure, you can snap it in the place. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Okay, so I'm getting in. Anyone watching this video? <laughs> You can see that the maid is off duty today, and yeah. by that I mean it's quite messy. And uh, my chronic illness, life. yeah. My my excuse, since I'm the caregiver and the house isn't clean, is you know it's it's tough to do everything. There are always immediate needs, and sometimes I just don't feel like cleaning. However, last night he did laundry and dishes and took all the trash out and cleaned the cat boxes. Yeah, so, hence why there's, you know, a little bit of messiness. And yeah, part of this, too, is the unboxing. Yeah, part so. of the unboxing, and, you know, like you said, some things are more important than others. So you have to sort of prioritize. Yeah, so... Clean clothes is a little bit higher on the list than getting some things off the tray table. So. Yes. So let's, uh, let's take it for a spin here. Let's go down through the hallway and then back. Okay. Make sure your brakes are off. Oh, it's going to be hard to roll that plastic. Yeah, so okay. quick pause. I'm going to take the plastic off. Okay, plastic off the front wheels. Ready to go? Let's take her for a spin. Let's go. Let's, let's check out the pivot action first. It's kind of hard on this floor because it's such smooth wood, but... That should make it easier. That works well. I mean, it's it makes it skid a little bit, I'm saying. Oh, gotcha. Look out loose. So, yeah. You know. The track the wheels is good, but this is still super smooth. Look at it. Okay, well, good. I can stop. Everyone's it. watching. Good. There's Just Lucy. There's June. Out. Let's see, we're going to slide on here. All right, let's take it down, turn it around, and bring it back down, down. So as you can see, pretty good in tight spaces. It is, and it's pretty daggone easy to use with these handlebars to grip on and stuff. And pretty good in tight spaces where a dog wants to play. Yeah, because she keeps chasing. What is it, baby? What is it? Oh, hi. No, no play like that. Oh, hi. So, first impression of the wheelchair. I'm loving it. It's comfortable even without the cushion, even though I am going to get the seat cushion for some extra padding. It's, I mean, pretty much exactly what I was needing. Great. Um, so, I'm two thumbs up for Carmen LT980. I will tell you that. Uh, I awesome. really like that these fold down to make it super compact, like we were saying. I really like the strength on the brakes. I really like just the overall aesthetic of it. I, I'm a fan. And yeah, seems very sturdy. Uh, once again, I know this is sort of just a, I, I, I'm not sure if it's a functional thing or aesthetics, but I really like the, uh, I really like the spokes on the tires, the old bicycle wheel look. I think that's pretty, that's pretty neat. Um, you gotta watch your fingers in them, I've heard. Yeah. And uh, it looks looks very sturdy. I'm gonna take it for a spin myself. All right. I uh, first wanted to say to people that may not know that are watching this video, I don't have to use a wheelchair 100% of the time, but I do have to use it when we're outside the house. This makes me able. Like when you see us go places, it's because I set aside my pride four and a half years ago, and I'm using the wheelchair as a tool for as long as I need to use it as a tool because that's what it is. There's no stigma attached with it for me. I don't feel like there's a stigma attached to it. I don't think there should be. I do get looks out in public, but it doesn't bother me. <laughs> Part of it's probably because a lot of times I have big sunglasses on and a mask <laughs> on my face too. Anyway, um, so the number one thing I wanted to say though, anytime someone tries to tell you, because I know this happens with chronic illness a lot, like, do you really need a wheelchair? Do you really need this assistive device? Do you really need this kind of procedure do you really need this or that well if your body's saying you need it and it helps you function at a better level then there's no shame in using whatever tool or device like my feeding tube obviously i'm not glad that i have to have it but it is a tool that i need right now to help me get better wheelchair obviously not glad that i have to use it but it's a tool that allows me when i'm able to get out and even to be you know 
to not have to be carried into doctor's appointments or not have to always hope that there's a wheelchair available at the store. So, or to even just, you know, increase the amount of time she's able to be out because she doesn't have to expend that energy on, you know, leaning or, yeah. you know, it, it allows her to go into store sometimes because she can't really walk yeah. and then having to take a break. And so, yeah, I'm good. So you said, so do you want to take it for a spin? Yeah, we don't need to get that on camera though. You sure? Yep. Okay. All right. Well, that's all for now, guys. Hey guys, so I was just out here, um, Rogers at the Praise Conference. It started just a little while ago. He sent me a picture before it started and the set looked awesome. I'm just out here wheeling around in my new chair a little bit, getting a better feel for it. I actually am using the cushion that I use in bed, which the uh, cover is not on it right now. And actually, crap, my battery just started blinking, so I don't know if I'm able to get this, but I was testing our kitchen's dark, so you can't see it very well, but I'm testing all the different ways. I was trying to go over the rug and up over the thing in the kitchen, so I'm going to try to put this here and show you all. Sorry if you're seeing my knees, but I'm trying to hold the camera there so you can see how this works, trying to get in that. Now, it was having a little trouble on the carpet, but, oh, look, that time, that time it went right on through, and there are all of my boxes of Kate Farms. Woo! Anyway, we're going to go around some more. Wheelchair point of view. Sorry, you're still seeing my knees there, though. And I was going through, again, sorry for the mess, like Roger mentioned earlier. We're working on getting stuff together and organizing, and he did other stuff yesterday. But as I was coming back from testing the kitchen out, I thought, what's this in the floor? And oops, the awkward feeling when your feeding tube goes just falls out. So then you pick it up to go throw it away, and you want to still try the chair out. So you go into your bedroom and realize that the second part of the gauze was right there in the bedroom floor. So these obviously fell off at some point. I don't know when. I know this is kind of dark, so I'm not going to keep it on. Plus, my battery's blinking, so I got to charge it. I decided, I guess, to pick up the camera just quickly when I had a little bit better lighting again and to say that I hope if if you're needing information about a wheelchair, I hope that you were able to um, at least get a little bit of information about the model that we shared. Again, it's the Carmen K-A-R-M-A-N LT980. It is very affordable for what it is. We did have some family help that uh, made it possible for us to get it, but I have been using it around the house tonight like I showed you and um, just just to test it out and get a feel for it and I really think it was a great investment um, and it's so much lighter and it's going to be so much easier to transport in and out of the car. As you saw I could even lift it up now my heart rate did jump to above 200 as it does when I do anything like that so I won't be lifting it up but I just wanted to illustrate earlier that I could. I'm enduring my last flush through Claire Bennett of the night here Roger has been sending me videos from the praise conference and oh my gosh, it was just a night of worship tonight. He was sending me a few clips and I was just, I felt like I was worshiping here in the room. They sang my This Is The Day song that I sang in last night's vlog. He sent me a clip of them singing Above All, which is one of my favorite songs of all time, just getting very Christian worship songs of all time from the, it's Michael W. Smith. I think it came out in the 90s originally. Oh, hold on. My flesh just stopped. Let me, let me turn it off. And then he sent me another song too, but it was, you can tell my trigeminal pain is, is rough. That's why I don't have my glasses on and I have my cold pack actually covering my right eye. I'm hoping you're able to at least see with my left, but the cold and pressure on it um, actually helps when it's like this. That's why I know it looks awkward, but the two fingers, that's really the best type of pressure. I know you're not really supposed to press on your eyes, but I also have no other way to get relief. So even if it's temporary, my fingers are there and you know what? I'm glad I have fingers that I can use to press on my eye. You know, let's find the joy in that, all right? Because there is joy no matter what. Even even when it hurts, there is joy. I've just been thinking about that tonight as I was rejoicing and just have kind of my own mini worship session here alone tonight. Well, not really alone with Lucy the Beagle. So on that note, we will sign off and I will say I will see you tomorrow and good night. And let's check in and see how the Beagle's doing before we close for the night. Hey Lucy. Hey babe. How you doing baby? You okay? Oh, did mommy wake you up? She doesn't like to be awakened when she's been sleeping. I'm sorry babe, you go back to sleep. Go on, good night. Good girl.